Hello and welcome to another episode of Killjoy Storytime. Today I have a thread about an Anon recently coming back from his expedition doing a stalker challenge. And of course, the original story will be in the pinned comments and in the description. But if you're in the description, might as well check out my affiliate link with Redcon1 and save yourself at least 20% off of protein powders or your daily nutrition needs. Just got back from a stalker challenge. I went out last night under cover of darkness. I canoed across the boat with a motor. Even if you want to go with a kayak or canoe, you have to bounce over 50 meters of high weeds and mangrove to actually get to the shore. This was a pretty short excursion, there's no abandoned structures, just an abandoned island. For the scoring, this will be not as difficult because I only camped overnight, not for a solid 24 hours, and technically, I was just in a wood. The lake is patrolled by a wildlife officer. I had to sneak around getting to the site and leaving it this morning. It's a very popular sporting lake, so the risk of getting cheeky freaky is higher than not. But I was not busted. This is just a spur of the moment thing, just to get a good stretch of the legs and to have some fun. I'll post other stalker challenges I've done later in this thread and other anons feel free. Stalker challenge is just an excuse to go outside and play in the woods with guns. Here's from my step off. Loaded up the canoe with my AK and pack. I have a large tarp strapped onto my pack and I have a sponsor vest. Well, nothing. Seems that's all the board is nowadays. I'm wearing a freedom badge so that at least has the Ukrainian flag on it. This is what I mean by the very tall weeds. In order to get to the island, you have to navigate around a quarter of a mile of submerged dumps. Then get to about 50 meters of 6 foot tall saplings and weeds. You have to like bounce the canoe and push yourself off from the bottom in order to carve a way through. It's also worth mentioning, when I pushed off the canoe, a magazine fell off my vest and into the lake. It was only a foot of water, so I was able to get it back. Make sure all your magazines are strapped in. Well, after stealthily canoeing around the wildlife officer, I made it to shore. I made my little shelter with a tarp and made myself a fire. There are no signs of deer, humans, or anything on this island. The brightish are so thick you have to machete around whatever you go, like it's the jungle. The only inhabitants on the island are hundreds of birds, some making some wild noises that I've never heard birds make before. I set up camp so that my back would be to the water and the opening of my shelter would be inland. The corner of the island I made camp on is also part of the island furthest from the center of the lake and the area where motored boats can safely navigate. My fire and noise pollution were not seen by anyone. After setting up camp, I did jack shit. I ate a Santa Claus chocolate bar left over from Christmas and called it a night. There was a lot of bird chatter and a lot of birds hopping around on the ground around my shelter, but nothing wild or paranormal. Managed to sleep a few hours before dawn hit. Lying down with the tarp flap open, enjoying the fresh cool air. This was just as dawn was starting to break. Smoking an Ontario Cleopatra cigar to start my day. Simultaneously fulfilling the need to smoke something for my freedom bonus points. By this time I could hear the lake starting to wake up. People are opening and closing car doors, engines running, boats going up and down the way. Here I'm just showing what I got on my vest. This is a very bright flashlight that was critical in spotting stumps late last night. And I was running barnual in all of my magazines, a couple of smoke bombs. Had my P229 as my secondary as well, as you can tell most of these pictures are just me holding things up. Saw no floppies to swat. Cheeky bricky danke. And that's when I decided it was about time to head out. I didn't want to stay so late that people really started waking up and would question me on my return trip. This is the weeds in the daylight. What you see is my path from the night before, just having to push my way through, and behind me going back to the island. In the future, I might start adding to the island to make it a little more homely. I can confidently say that I'm the only person autistic enough to get to make it here, so I know no one will even bother me. Finally, back on the open water. There's so much submerged tree trunks and stuff, no one with a big boat ever comes back here let alone even considers the possibility of going to the island. 
And after all this, all I had to do was canoe past a wildlife officer and I was home free. I had my pack and AK and everything else under the tarp there. I wasn't doing anything illegal this trip, I just didn't want to talk to law enforcement if I didn't need to. Sitting in a boat with a full tactical getup, guns, and ammo can get you some unwanted attention here sometimes. If I added up everything correctly, this trip got me 65 points. Novice difficulty got me 0, Freedom Faction got me 15, plus 5 for wearing flat tarn, plus 10 for smoking something, lighting fire and squatting around it, plus 10, Loner and Adventure add-ons counted as 1 for 20 points. I've got the score sheet and rules after this post, plus whatever cool pictures I have from previous stalker outings.